My name is Michael Lund, and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Technology, Art, and Design. The lecture is about nanomechanics, and I've been working in nanomechanics now for about three years. I started when I worked as a postdoc at the University of Minnesota, and the lecture explores what nano is, what mechanics is, concepts like Young's modulus and hardness, and, and then it goes into nano indentation, what nano indentation is, and, and uh, basically um, probing materials at very small length scales. And uh, some of the work that I did on breaking nanostructures, and, and then my more current work at the Los Alamos National Lab Center for Integrated Nanotechnologies. And there, we found some interesting results on nickel copper, where we saw some anomalies near the Curie temperature. <laughs> and I'll be talking a little bit about that and explaining what all those things are. And then some of the more, my most recent work that I did in uh, October. And I won't say anything about that, but it's kind of new <laughs> stuff that we've got. I love material science in general and breaking things is a lot of fun. And I get to break things and study how they broke. So I get to add some science into breaking things. <laughs> um, I do a lot of that with my students in our material science class. We have a material science lab on campus. And we do that on, on a more macroscopic scale. So we break large materials. And what I do in my research is I break small materials, or I break things at very small length scales and look at how they break. And it's interesting because things do not behave the same at small length scales as they do at large length scales. Some of the common ones that come to mind are sunscreens have titanium dioxide particles in them, and they're nanoparticles. Um, so you, if you use a sunscreen and you look on the back and it says it has titanium dioxide, those are little nanoparticles that are in the, in the sunscreen. Um, some dishwashers have silver nanoparticles in them that are supposed to be antibacterial. But uh, as far as science goes, a lot of, a lot of the, the nanotechnology is going toward nanoelectrical and mechanical systems. And those are used in accelerometers and other devices in next generation products.